Welcome to Card Player TV's Online Zone. I'm your host, Julio Rodriguez, and I'm joined today by Randall Flowers, aka Randall and how you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Um, I have to apologize right off the bat. I was checking our database and I noticed that we had you under two different names. Yeah, Mark and Randall. Which would you prefer? Uh, well, I go by Randall, but okay. I'm a junior, so I always want my middle name, but when I list my name everywhere, I have to start with my first name, so I kind of just include <laughs> both now. Well, your uh, your biggest cash today was under Mark, so I changed that for you. Why don't you talk a little bit about the WPT Championship in Barcelona? Uh, well, it was like 176 entrants, and it had a really good field because it was right before the main event, so a lot of the pros weren't there, and I was fortunate enough to win the tournament. You mean good field as in soft? Uh, yeah, soft. <laughs> okay. Um, now, did you find playing poker overseas a little different than, than over here? Uh, yeah, it's definitely different. Um, in particular, the older guys are a little bit looser in a different way, and the style of poker over there is a little bit more, not as pre-flop oriented, but everyone is a little bit more aggressive post-flop, I think. Do you think that plays right into your game? Are you more of a pre-flop shove artist, or are you a flop kind of guy? Well, I kind of like the deep stack play and playing post-flop. It's nice. It's more things to do. It's more fun. You can be more creative when you're shorter. It's just kind of boring, and you have to do like basically math things, and that's not that fun. Now, let's talk about your online game. Um, how did you get started? Uh, I know you started as an online player. But, uh... um, I started playing uh, when I was about 16 or so, around level of stuff, and then I started playing online, and eventually I just kind of put poker before everything and uh, dedicated a lot of hours to it, and here I am. Now, when you say you put poker before everything, what suffered the most? Uh, probably school. Okay. <laughs> so we got to get to it. It's the, it's the same common theme with every person I interview. So. Yeah, it always just kind of ends up taking over your life a little bit. If you want to be the best at it, you really have to kind of consume yourself in it. All right. So what are your plans for the upcoming? Are you going to play a little live more? Oh, definitely. I just turned 21 in August, so I'm ready to play a bunch in the U.S. and not have to travel overseas all the time. So um, I think the next series I'll play in the States is uh, Five Diamond and then like PCA. And I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Cool. Play it by ear. Uh, so we'll see you at the Bellagio, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next edition of the Online Zone right here on Card Player TV.